In other news, the Ministry of Interior and National Administration is in the process of making amendments to the Computer Cyber Crimes Act of 2018 in order to curb issues of scams, identity theft, hacking, and internet fraud. Principal Secretary Interior Dr. Raymond Omolo revealed that that the said act has to conform to the emerging threats in the digital space. Addressing the press after meeting with the task force mandated to give proposals on computer and misuse and cyber crimes regulations, the PS said the government will be keen on employing a much more coordinated approach in dealing with cyber crimes and sharing of data. Definitely there are gaps and uh, part of that is uh, as a result of the element of time. The act was set up in 2018 and between 2018 and uh, today there's been a lot that has happened within the space because it's a fast changing environment. The task force which comprises of two co-chairs among other members from government agencies with expertise in cyberspace, ICT and digitization has already come up with draft regulations which will be subjected to a rigorous public participation exercise. These draft regulations need to be taken through public participation and subsequently to parliament for their passage and then we are able to start implementing those regulations. Interior Principal Secretary Dr. Raymond Omolo said advancements in digital technologies have led to the rise of new risks that expose government and Kenyans to threats such as subversion, cyber terrorism, and cyber fraud cases. He noted if amendments to the act is approved by parliament, it will protect Kenyans, the government, and even businesses from such threats. The computer and misuse and cyber crimes regulations seek to address protection measures for critical information and public infrastructure, which include telecoms, banking and transport. Beatrice Getonyangetich, Lunchtime News.